It's a pirate's life for me. Savvy. Phillips Paris and welcome back to our broadcast of Paris Unplugged for the 2017-2018 school year. I'm Brooke and I'm Madeline. Today is Wednesday, August 16, 2017 and we are continuing our week two rotating schedule. That means we will go to periods 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 1. A copy of this week's rotation is available in your planner. We have a lot of announcements and reminders for today so please listen up. Our first announcement for today comes from our yearbook sponsor, Ms. Whitney. She would like all students that have yearbook money to bring it directly to her in room A102. Teachers, please do not collect money or put it in her box. In other news, the yearbook picture day is rescheduled for Friday, September 8th. This is a change. We will give out more details when they become available. In sports news, we have our next volleyball game coming up on September 5th, beginning at 4 p.m. at Williamson Prep. And our first football game is coming up, up on Thursday, August 31st against Mobile County Training. Go Pirates! The Spyglass newsletter went out yesterday, so don't forget to remind your parents about it. Also, for the PTA fun run fundraising spirit shirt forms are available in the office. Each shirt is $12. Coming up on August 21st will be our 2017 solar eclipse. Please note that Phillips will be operating in a regular schedule the day of the eclipse. Eye protection is essential when viewing the solar eclipse. Eye safety should be reviewed throughout the week with constant reminders throughout the day on Monday to not look at the, directly at the sun. We will not be participating in an outdoor viewing, but we will watch a live broadcast of the eclipse where students may ask scientists questions and receive replies during the broadcast. And for today's Pirate Pen of the Day, why is pirating so addictive? I don't know, Madeline, why? Because they say once you lose your first hand, you get hooked. This has been Pirates Unplugged with Brooke McGee and Madeline Erickson. We'll see you tomorrow.